love Proverbs 17. I love all the chapters of Proverbs and all this practical management training really. First management training manual in the world. So 17 verse 1, better a dry crust with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. <laughs> peace. <laughs> Let's read some other verses for you. Verse 3, the crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. Verse 5, he who mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Verse 6, children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. Verse 9, as an example of atoning love, he who covers over an offence promotes love. But whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. Verse 14, very wise advice here. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam. So drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Verse 17. A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. Verse 22 is very dear to me. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Mm. It's good news we learned brings health to the bones. And a cheerful heart is good medicine. So let's work towards a cheerful heart and share good news with each other. finish with verse 27 and verse 28 27 a man of knowledge uses words with restraint and a man of understanding is even tempered <laughs> even a fool is thought wise if he keeps silent and discerning if he holds his tongue wise advice